I am told by many of you that I must forgive. And so I shall. After an Indian woman puts her shoulder to the Grand Coulee Dam and topples it. I am told by many of you that I must forgive. And so I shall, after the floodwaters burst each successive dam downriver from the Grand Coulee, I am told by many of you that I must forgive. And so I shall, after the floodwaters find their way to the mouth of the Columbia River as it enters the Pacific and causes all of it to rise, I am told by many of you that I must forgive. And so I shall, after the first drop of flood water is swallowed by that salmon waiting in the Pacific, I am told by many of you that I must forgive. And so I shall, after that salmon swims upstream through the mouth of the Columbia and then past the flooded cities, broken dams, and abandoned reactors of Hanford, I am told by many of you that I must forgive. And so I shall, after that salmon swims through the mouth of the Spokane River as it meets the Columbia, then upstream until it arrives in the shallows of a secret bay on the reservation where I wait alone. I am told by many of you that I must forgive. And so I shall, after that salmon leaps into the night air above the water, throws a lightning bolt at the brush near my feet and starts the fire which will lead all of the lost Indians home, I am told by many of you that I must forgive. And so I shall, after we Indians have gathered around the fire with that salmon who has three stories it must tell before sunrise. One story will teach us how to pray. Another story will make us laugh for hours. Third story. The third story will give us reason to dance. I am told by many of you that I must forgive. And so I shall. When I am dancing with my tribe during the powwow at the end of the world. Mm -hmm.